great things about having not to do so much in games is the form of the defence uh, and uh, obviously most of them are still here during the international break. Is, is that a help working with them on the training pitch with, with them all apart from Kleine being here? And I also wanted to ask you about Joel who's settling in like yourself settling in so well to the team and uh, he must have been a player you knew very well from the Bundesliga. Um, yeah it's good that we have uh, almost everyone on board so we can more work on the small things, improve them, and uh, yeah, Joel is a, is a good defender. I've known him from playing against him a couple of times. He was always uh, playing good, so I'm happy I have him. Um, we get good communication between us, but the whole back four, I think, uh, is working on on uh, really well. Um, sometimes. Uh, we're a bit disappointed that we didn't get as many clean sheets yet as we maybe wanted, but um, we have a very uh, aggressive style of play, um, very high position, so sometimes that's the risk you take, then maybe uh, one counter-attack or whatever, set piece that can lead to a goal, but if you look at it in total, when you win 6-1, I think uh, it could be worse. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The, um, uh, I wanted to ask you about Jürgen. He often mentions his dad, who was a who was a goalkeeper back in the day. Is this something he often mentions to you? And do you think it gives him a, some sort of insight into sort of the things you go through as a goalkeeper? Uh, I think he only mentioned once, maybe twice. So I haven't seen his dad play, so I don't know what kind of keeper he was. But um, yeah, no, he doesn't doesn't talk about it too much. He, I think, he knows very well what he wants, so he doesn't doesn't need any. Advice really on that. Did, did it help you confidence-wise? You mentioned the injury and possibly uh, having to come back from that. Did it help him when he came out publicly and said, "Loris is my number one, and we we have to have a number one goalkeeper, and uh, this is my guy going forward." Well, it's a nice feeling, but uh, also before I just concentrated on my work. But of course, when you have the, the trust from the manager, it's always good for a player. Um, it's always something that that. Uh, yeah, it just makes you feel good, the manager appreciating your qualities and believing in you, so I think for anyone that's, that's good. Going top of the table in that Watford game, uh, the manager's been very keen to play it down, we know it's very early in the season, but do you think um, the players took a boost from that and, and the, the fact that the, you know they were very pleased to see themselves at the top of that table? I hope so, I mean the, the table doesn't lie. Um, that's that's what we reached. We've got the most points right now, um, but yeah, it's very early, so uh, we just need to concentrate, go from game to game, and keep winning. Because there's three, four more teams that are really strong, that are close behind us, so there's no time to relax now. Yeah. Quickly before the rain and goal, Shiloh is the. Um, the next batch of games runs us into Christmas, which is a, a big period in the English league in terms of football. Um, Jürgen's mentioned before that during the holiday period, he used to just sit with his feet on the sofa and watch English football at home because of the break in Germany. How much are you either looking forward to or uh, in, in, you know, concerned about it or having to play so much football over the holiday period? I know you're very close to your family in Germany. Um, yeah, it's new to me, but... Uh it's not a problem, I think all my friends' family will come watch, so um, I'm excited to have it the first time, Boxing Day and everything, so uh, yeah, I'm excited.